Welcome to the RIP Charts General Usage Tutorial. Uh, today we're going to go over a basic site navigation and a little bit of basic map navigation. Uh, up at the top right you have a bunch of links. Uh, home link, which is where we are right now on the home page, map search, control panel, uh, tutorial, contact us and log out. I've actually already logged in, so you would log out after you've logged in. Go ahead and click map search. And that will give us um, the white bar that comes across. This is what you'll see to do all your map searches, some basic map uh, search instructions. Um, if you have more than one region, they will show up here. Uh, the map type that you're searching for, whether it be altimetry, chlorophyll, currents, sea temps, topography, or true color. Uh, the type of map, granule being an individual scan. Uh, daily summary or three-day composites or multi-resolution depending on what regions you have those options will be there on C temps and chlorophyll um, and then uh, the the time span that you want to look at so we'll go ahead and click search thumbnails will come up uh, within that time span of what data is available within that time span uh, you've got a time and date stamp the type of image it is you might notice a little mobile phone icon this um, will allow you to access a mobile specific map if you've got an Android device or an iPhone device um, or an iOS device as you can access uh, mobile friendly maps here um, they're limited in functionality but they, they still allow you to, to check things out um, and you've got your moon phase so we'll go ahead and click on a thumbnail to get to the regular maps and we'll go over uh, some of the benefits. You've got a zoom in and zoom out button if you click those they'll zoom in you can also zoom in by double clicking on the map and it'll zoom in center wherever you double click you can move left and right and up and down by click and holding and then moving um, next to the zoom in zoom out you've got your moon phase again uh, custom print button you can either print by your browser or you can utilize this print button you can overlay latitude and longitude lines they will get more detailed the closer you get um, you can leave those on or off. We have a radius tool um, that is the one with the circle and little red line. You click that to turn it on, it will turn green. You click as your starting point, and then you drag your mouse out, and then you can move around. So if your boat only has a 100 mile nautical mile range, you can see what kind of water is within your range, and then click again to turn that off. Your uh, your distance and bearing from that red line will remain there. You can then turn on your uh, distance tool and you can click once for your origination point and then click again for a destination point and that will load in that same space that the radius tool did and then each click after that is your destination point. We can turn that off. Each time we click on the map our latitude and longitudes are saved at the top right and the bottom right of the maps. Um, you can we, we just freeze those so that you can put those on um, spreadsheets or what have you. If you're on a sea temp image, your your sea temperature would show up here because we have a click sea temp as well. Uh, you may notice these little check boxes. This will allow you to labels uh, turns on the name of the towns and so forth. Um, altimetry these altimetry lines here we allow you to take those same altimetry lines and overlay them on different images across uh, rip charts. Uh, bathymetry will show your different bottom structure and then you can have a currents overlay as well to show you the, the currents um, and you can turn any of those on or off as possible there's reports already turned on uh, if fishing reports are available those would show up at that time so you can customize your map however you want it and that is the general navigation of there's uh, we can right click on the maps we've got a few tutorials on this that go into further depth but if you want to add a waypoint to a tutorial you right click select that and then you can click anywhere on the map or input those and then do certain things there but check out our waypoint point tutorials and fishing report tutorials uh, for more information on those so that's your your quick down dirty um, on the maps you've got uh, buoys that you can get some buoy data off of each one of those icons if you roll over them will give you different um, amounts of data and, and what they represent some with great amounts and some with not so good amounts but those can uh, you come with a base set of waypoints and then you can customize your own moving forward um, so that's the map search we have a control panel um, you can change your password here um, you can edit your account information manage your billing add a region uh, cancel an account uh, create a waypoint or edit waypoints um, tutorial section which you've already found uh, contact us page 
Um, you can either call us uh, during normal business hours or email us. Uh, both my partner and I get this email, and we uh, we immediately respond as quick as possible unless we are too fishing. So, and then when you're done, you can log out, and it'll give you a log out successful message, or you can remain logged in. So that's that's up to you, and then you can just turn it off, and then it'll it'll log yourself out. So that is the general usage tutorial, and uh, thanks for looking. <laughs>